let's not wait for that crash, guys. Let's get in there now. Even if interest rates are a little bit higher, you can always refi it later. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. And I want to talk a little bit about what's happening in our market right now because to me, it's somewhat unprecedented what we're seeing. The way this market has shifted in just 90 days from a strong seller's market to now, I have to say it, it's a buyer's market now. It is. It's moved from sellers to buyers in a very, I mean, a strong seller's market where the seller could get away with whatever they wanted to. Right. Yeah. To now, buyers have leverage. Buyers have significant leverage because, and here's what's happening. It's, it's the laws of supply and demand. The last month, we closed less than 2,000 single-family homes. Right. That's a small number, and a that's, tiny that's number. It's probably going to be the same number in, in August. Is going to be yeah. probably, and, and total properties close is probably going to be less than 2,500 overall. Which, which wow. is the lowest number I've seen in a decade. Right. I mean, it's a l very small number. And the inventory continues to increase. We're over 8,000 single-family homes. I know that. I don't know where we are on the, on the entire market, probably close to 10,000, I'm guessing, but yes. something like that. So what we're seeing is, is that both things are working against the sellers right now. You've got the inventory increasing and the number of closings decreasing. The laws yeah. of supply and demand now dictate that it becomes more of a buyer's market. Now, does that mean we're going to see a dramatic reduction in prices? I still don't think so. Yeah, I, don't, I, I agree. We I might agree see with you. Some, We might see some hits in certain neighborhoods more than others, and we might see some, some reductions in prices. But we're certainly not going to see numbers going up right now. I don't see prices going up because of that. There's another factor that's affecting our, our real estate market that, that I talk about this. And I, we've been doing the show over eight years now. So this comes up every two years for me. It's the election. <laughs> the elections affect real estate. And it's weird yes. to me because here's what happens, guys, in my mind. And this is just my opinion. Um, people are reluctant to make moves prior to the election because they're waiting for the outcome. They want to see who's right. who's going in, why are they going in, what are they going to do. Yeah. I'm afraid that this guy gets in, I'm not going to get that. If that guy gets in, yeah. I might not get this. In, in my past experience with these elections, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. It really right. doesn't, guys. I mean, right. whoever gets there, it's not going to affect real estate in such a dramatic way that you're going to see a huge change in re residential real estate. It just doesn't, it's never really happened, particularly on a federal level. Now, local right. level, you might talk about, well, this rule is going to change that, you know, and maybe in terms of, of, of the way we handle rental properties and the legislature might change the rules here in Nevada. Right. Yeah. But it's not such that the election itself is going to make that big right. of a difference in that either, guys. But but it does happen. People kind of, they pull in, they, they withdraw from the market a little bit, waiting to see what the outcome is going to be. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio.